Hi guys, and thanks for coming back to another video. So I get told numerous times that I look like a bunch of different celebrities. Basically, I've been told that I look like Madonna ever since I opened this channel, but never in real life have I ever been told that. Um, on this channel, you guys said I look like Madonna. Um, I really look like this actress called Elaine Hendricks, who's not that familiar, she's not that popular, but she played the stepmom on The Parent Trap, if you know who I'm talking about. And also, for the past little while, lots of people have been telling me that I look like Kate Winslet, which I do not see the resemblance at all, but I've been told that quite a bit. So I thought that this would be quite fun to film, to do like makeup inspired by Kate Winslet, because she also does her makeup so differently than how I normally do my makeup, and I figured that if I would kind of do my makeup more like her, maybe I would look more like her, I don't know. I'm always told that I look like her when I do absolutely nothing in my hair, and my hair is just like completely natural. So basically I just showered and let my hair dry naturally, and this is what you get. Make sure to leave me down in the comments below what you think, if you think I look like Kate Winslet, or now like that I've done my makeup, if you think I look more like her. I don't know, I would love to hear your thoughts about that. Make sure to stay tuned until the end of this video because I will be telling you how you can participate in my very first ever giveaway on this channel. So if you'd like to see how I did this Kate Winslet inspired makeup tutorial, just stay tuned. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my face using my Benefit Pore Professional and just kind of work that into my pore to have my skin looking a little bit more perfected. Kate has this most amazing radiant skin, so I'm using this Lumi primer, which gives your cheeks like a nice glow before my foundation. And for foundation, I'm using Chanel's Aqua Lumiere uh, foundation, and this is basically going to give me the lightest coverage. I'm basically applying this with a flat uh, antonym foundation brush, and then working that in with my fingers to make sure that I have absolutely no streaks. And I'm really using the lightest layer because I don't want it to look like I have foundation at all. So like I said, Kate has really amazing skin. And it never looks like she has a lot of makeup on at all. So I used a light wash of foundation all over my skin and now I'm going in with my Studio Finish Concealer by MAC to just pinpoint those blemishes or spots that I want to get rid of. Next I'm going to apply my favorite concealer combo and I spoke about this in my August favorites video so if you haven't seen that um, I'll leave a link down below. But basically I'm just getting rid of that under eye darkness. So because Kate is fairly pale, she doesn't really have very strong contours going on. So I'm using a light hand with my Chanel uh, Soleil Universal Tan de Chanel. And I'm basically using a big fluffy brush to just kind of contour very, very gently. And for blush, it almost never looks like she has blush. It almost just looks like it's a real rosy glow from within. So I'm using my Benetint and I love using this with a big fluffy brush just from the back of my hand. Next, I'm just setting this all with a light powder. This is the Clinique powder, which I love because it does not look cakey at all on your skin. It just disappears. So definitely one of the most standout features that Kate has are her eyebrows. She has very thick and well-defined eyebrows, so I'm just going to spend some time trying to get them as close to Kate's eyebrows as I possibly can. Now the pencil made them very defined, but to get them looking a little bit bushier, I'm just going over with a powder. It's also going to set that pencil and make it a lot more long lasting as well. Kate hardly ever has very strong heavy eye makeup on so basically I'm going to keep this very very light and simple. I'm priming my eyes with Max Painterly Paint Pot which you guys all know is my favorite and then I'm going in with a combination of two light shades kind of a mix of a more pinkish shade and a more yellow shade to just kind of get it very beige and neutral and kind of like skin color and then I'm going in with another combo of very light kind of a light pink and a light gold just to kind of give a nice contour very very light define the eyes and then with just a tad bit more of this um, soft kind of reddish toned brown just kind of accentuate that outer corner just a tad not to make it look like you have too much makeup on and then using a dark brown I'm just going to very gently line the lashes curl the lashes and of course apply a nice coat of mascara Kate always has very like long and defined lashes they're never bushy or bulky or spidery, they're always very, very defined and long and flirty. I felt like I was looking a little bit too pale, so I went in with a little bit of this Girl On Bronzer, this is the Terracotta Bronzer, and just kind of warmed up the contours of my face. Next I'm using this beautiful coral lipstick, and she always kind of has like a little bit more of an orange lip, so I love this color. I'm not sure it's the most flattering on me, but I think it is a really, really nice coral lipstick. And then finally I'm just shearing it out and softening out using my finger. 
adding a little bit of this peach kind of gloss and that's it, the look is complete. So that's my completed Kate Winslet look and I've got to admit I feel like I don't look like myself at all right now. I feel like I just look weird because I never ever do my makeup like this and I never dress like this. <laughs> So I'm super excited to be doing my first ever giveaway on this channel um, and I will be giving away this little package right here and basically what's inside that package that the winner will be receiving is um, this Estee Lauder Signature Eyeshadow Quad Palette. This is what I used for this tutorial. It's made up of two eyeshadow quads. Um, this one is sand, so this four. These four are sand, these four are truffle, and then this eyeshadow is mink, and this eyeshadow is honey drop. And I absolutely love this palette just because the colors are incredibly pigmented and amazing. Um, it has an amazing mirror, as you can see, and I just love the packaging. It's a perfect shape. Um, I just think it's super classy and really Kate Winslet-esque. And then along with that palette, you will be getting the lipstick that I used, um, which is the 31 Spiced Coral with um, by Estee Lauder. So this is that beautiful orange color that I have on my lips right now. Um, this gloss, which is 325 Praline, and a sample size of the mascara which I used, which is the Sumptuous Bold Volume Lifting Mascara. So in order to participate in this giveaway, all you need to do is be subscribed to this channel. So if you're not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below and leave me a comment letting me know which celebrity you've been told that you look like or you think you might look like. All the terms and conditions for the giveaway will be down in the information box, so make sure to check that out. So that's going to be it for this video. Good luck to everyone with the giveaway. I will be announcing the winner to my giveaway on my Facebook page, so I will have that linked down below. Make sure you hit like to my Facebook page so that you will be updated if you've won. Don't forget to press thumbs up if you liked this video, and we'll see you in the next one.